on this episode of Minecraft Monday. Alright guys, and we're back for another exciting episode of Minecraft Mondays. And like every time, I've done a lot of work off camera while we've been gone. But uh, one of the things I really wanted to show, is you remember a few episodes back, we made that cool portal over there. You know where it took us. Alright. Well, we know that's going to lead to the nether. Now... There's another interesting thing you can do when you're in the nether, and it's for transportation purposes, such as, and I'll show you right here, make my quick little jump, Whee! now it's not done yet, I still gotta do some prettification here, but here's another nether portal, now what I've done, is I have connected the portal on the outside up top. Oh boy. Oh, that's not a sound you want to hear as soon as you walk in. Creepy kids. But what I've done is I have connected both of those portals to bring me to a single place. And there you go. No more five minutes to go back up the water chute. No more none of that. Now, if I want out, just go through the nether. Go right up. Now, it's kind of cool. And it does save a lot of time. And I'll go into a lot more detail on things like that later. But we're almost out of daylight. And... I want to show you some cool stuff I found while I was derping around. It's pretty far away from the house, so we're going to get us a good night rest. We're going to pack our bags, and we're going to go from there. All right, and we're back. Now, here's what I was wanting to show you. Right there is a partially submerged desert temple, and just a little to the south, it's a really, really cool desert town. So I'm going to let the sun come up just a little bit more so we don't run into any trouble. And uh, we're going to go have some fun. See what this new town's got. And there are all, what you do, all kinds of new villagers to interact with. Some guys want meat. This guy's really cool. He's a cleric. All that rotten flesh we got back at the place we've been saving up, we can save that for emeralds. Gold bars for emeralds. What's this guy got? Another butcher? Nothing in here. Shut the door in my face, would you? See, that's another butcher. Somewhere around here, there should be the guy that runs all the vegetables. Lots of books and a crafting table. But this is just one of the wonderful things about Minecraft, where... When you start finding villages, they all look a little different, and each one's got a little bit different things inside of them. Shepherd, trading wool. How cool is that? Oh boy. What are you doing down here? There's a spider down there. Why don't you go back up there? Go, go. Go. Would you quit being stuck? All right, fine. Stay down there. Guy wants to live like it. Whatever. Let's see. Do we have anything? Yes, we got a cobblestone we can put there. 
Do, do. Library says paper for emeralds. Ooh, respiration one. Nice. Who are you? You're another shepherd. You're another butcher. Another librarian. Fletcher, he's interesting. But all in all, each one of these guys are going to offer something a little bit different. And every once in a while, you'll find guys that have really cheap recipes that'll give emeralds. The main guys you want to look for are the ones that plant the seeds. Because you're going to, over time, especially if you got a greenhouse like we do, you're going to have an overabundance of wheat, carrots, and potatoes. And all of those can be traded off. And I'm not seeing one just yet. But yeah, place got a cool little uh, church. Go upstairs. You can see everywhere around here. Now all this is fine and dandy, I know. But the big thing and the main reason you're going to want this. Oh, I didn't notice there's a second story. Let's see what's on it. Anything cool up here? No. Okay. We are really, really far away from the house. And it took two and a half days to get here. So, we're going to want a faster way to get back. And the best way to do that is to link another portal. So I brought our obsidian and I did not bring our diamond pickaxe which means no mistakes. But we're just going to find us a little spot somewhere over here. I guess anywhere is as good as anywhere. We're also right on the edge of a really cool biome. See, I can't remember what this wood's called. I think it's acacia. It's a really, really pretty, pretty wood to build with. It's a red color. So let's go ahead and just build our portal right here. All right, we got our next portal. Go ahead and light her up. And here we go. Now pay attention to the coordinates, 1250, 856. All right, and that put us at 158.107. And a not friendly guy really close to us. Whew. But the point of this is, is you notice that these coordinates now, they are roughly eight times less because that's what one step in the nether is one step in the nether equals eight in the overworld. So we can use this if we know our coordinates back. Oh, I get nervous. We can use this to really travel fast. There he is. Let's go back in the portal for now. We'll talk about it some more. Okay. 
So, you remember where we were then. Now, I've got it written down here. Our original was 136, 299. I'm sorry, negative 136, 299. Which means that when the math is done, doo -doo, anybody else got little notebooks that keep up with stuff? Keep up with everything. What that equated to was 9.5 by 36.8. So we go from here and we want to find 9.5 by 36.8. And we may have to do a lot of building to get there. Uh, this may take me a little bit. Let me go ahead and cut here and uh, I'll get us back close. All right, and we're back again. I found my way back. Eventually, I'm going to have to build a kind of a cool little transport way to get me from one end to the other because it was, it was a pretty good ways. But I've marked my path with stuff that doesn't happen in the nether like cobblestone and sand. So we're going to run our way over. And keep in mind, I traveled for two days, two and a half technically, to get to this place. Now I'm doing this right here in real time, so keep up with how long this takes. I know you're thinking, boy, this seems like a long way around. It is right now because it's not a straight path. But, look at this. We're almost back to our portal close to our home, and it hasn't been a full minute yet. Oh, where did I come up at? Came up somewhere. Right around here. You know. Yeah, there we go. And there it is. Our portal back home. All in all, including my little slip up, that took exactly one minute. So we traveled. Eleven hundred blocks. Eleven hundred blocks south, and two hundred blocks west, in less than a minute. Even a horse won't get you there that fast. So that is a very, very, very easy way to get around. And as long as your portals aren't too close to each other, you don't have to worry about doing connected textures and things like that to make sure that you go to the right portal in the right place. As long as they're a fair bit away, they're always going to be the right ones. And that is how you travel very fast across Minecraft. Now there is one more place I want to check out, and we're going to have to go back in the nether for that. But first, let's get rid of something. Let's see, go on the go in this one for right now get rid of all of our overflow right now how I'll, I'll fix all this up later so I think I'll no. keep the baked potatoes get rid of you get rid of you and you and you I'll keep you
eat up real quick. Now we have nothing in our inventory worth losing. So, back to the nether we go. Bleh. Remember that cool temple we were going to look at? Alright. Let's, let's go check it out. Okay, if you've never been in one of these before, the whole place is rigged up with dynamite. And down at the bottom, there is some very, very cool things. Oh, we're a few blocks down still. So... Okay, first treasure, we got us a diamond, and zombie flesh, ooh, two really nice saddles, I know it's hard to see here, let me bump the brightness up, there we go, oh wow, that is, oh, we're making out like bandits down here. Oh crap. We're dead. <laughs> I got a little bit too close. <laughs> oh, I bet none of that's left. I bet absolutely none of that is left down there. Boy, bumping that brightness up. Man, it's really bright. Let me turn it back down a little bit. Whew. <laughs> Remember how I said it was rigged with TNT? Yeah. You really gotta watch where you step. Oh, I feel like such a noob right now. <laughs> And we make the long trek again. The walk of shame.
I still can't believe I did that. Oh. <laughs> okay. But the important thing is, it was all found stuff other than the sword and the pickaxe and the food. We put everything up in our miscellaneous box, so worst case scenario, we're out some iron. Meh. But we did see something cool. Let's, uh, let's go find the remains. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, uh oh. Okay, so there is some stuff left down there. And some zombies. And skeletons. That made really short work of me. So, I guess, uh,. I guess it's a good place to call it a day. Yeah. We'll see y'all next time.